Okay, I'll start. Gang hai fa choi. Happy New Year of the Rabbit. Happy Chinese New Year of the Rabbit. Um, thank you for joining me. This is my um, my predictions for the upcoming Chinese Year of, Chinese Year of the Rabbit, 2023. And um, I want to do some predictions for you for what you're going to experience over the next 12 months, maybe a bit more. I don't know when the new Chinese Year begins after this. It will be Dragon Year. Wow, Dragon Year next. Oh, hold on a second. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Go, Papa, go, go, go. Good girl. Bit of an interruption there. All right, Papa, sit down. So yes, I'm going to pull some cards. I've got my, my selection of cards here ready, and we are going to do some readings for you. Now, um, we're going to talk a little bit about the rabbit year. Uh, it's going to be an interesting time with what we've been experiencing recently. And the tiger year, wow. I mean, a lot of people struggled in this tiger year. And not necessarily because of the um, repercussions of the pandemic either. Hey, Baba, don't do that. Um, not necessarily because of the repercussions of the pandemic either, but because there's just uh, the energy of this tiger year was such that it was quite oppressive, and a lot of a lot of signs felt like they um, um, they couldn't be themselves and they couldn't um, stand in their power in quite the way that they they used to. You need to stop doing that, Sweetie. Stop doing that. So um, the rabbit year is going to change that. It is going to allow people to not feel so oppressed and suppressed. Um, so there is a certain level of freedom that wasn't there in the tiger year. The other thing that's um, going to be quite noticeable for most signs is the fact that it's a far more creative year. Uh, not that tigers aren't creative, they're very creative. But the, the influence that the rabbit year has on people is that it makes them more creative and... Um, there's something about the rabbit sign that is kind of the political artist. So they use their art to challenge. They use lots of indirect ways to challenge authority. And I think uh, one of the things that they do is they're very good at civil disobedience. Um, for example, uh, I talked about this in my, um, um, the article I wrote for the, um, for the uh, 2023 Chinese New Year of the Rabbit. That's on my website. I talked about how the, in the last rabbit year, 2011, in the UK, we, we had the London riots, which um, were started because the police shot a, uh, a black man, Mark Duggan, I believe his name was. And um, in protest, these riots took place where, they were, where there was like mass looting of like stores. Started off in like North London, in a place called Tottenham. And then it just sort of spread across the country. And that these, these riots where people were just break, smashing windows and taking things and that not that that is civil disobedience because it's it's not very civil it's quite it's uncivil disobedience but it gives you an example of the kind of chaotic laissez-faire energy that comes in rabbit years um there's also a lot of um a lot of natural disasters especially autumn time but the positive that those I suppose those are I don't know whether they're positive or negative is the uh, civil disobedience thing depends on where you where you land in terms of your beliefs. But there are lots of positives, however, which I'm going to focus on. Um, primarily being that you are allowed to be yourself. Being yourself is rewarded. Um, standing in your power, using your art to say what, how you feel, and um, just generally, it's a romantic year. It's also one of the two years of beauty, the dog year and the, and the, the Arabic year. Those are the two signs that are connected to beauty. So it's one of those years where you want to make your surroundings beautiful. You want to like look after yourself, look after your health, make yourself more beautiful. Um, and um, just, just do those things that really make your heart come alive. Now, I've got six packs of tarot cards here. So this is the this is the Starseed star seed Tarot. Uh, this is the Witch's Tarot. I've used this quite a lot of times. You will, if you, those of you who've seen my videos before will know that I've used this pack before. Got the traditional Rider Waite deck. The Robin Wood pack. This lovely green energy, green cards. Um, we have the Archangel pack. One of the Dorian Virtue packs. Um, she does make beautiful cards. She really does with the angels. And um, this is the, the pack which I use the most, which is the Druid pack. Rabbit. 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 
Rabbit. Rabbit. Rabbit. Rabbit. Rabbit. Rabbit. Rabbit. Rabbit, yeah. Rabbit, yeah. Rabbit side. Rabbit side. Rabbit side. That's this one. Now we're going to look at the rabbit sign in the rabbit year. So uh, if you are a rabbit sign, welcome to your own year. Uh, it's going to be an exciting time, big changes. Um, let's have a look what um, is on the way for you in 2023. So the way we're going to do it, we're going to do a general reading first, then we're going to do health, then wealth, then romance, and then we're going to look at 12 cards, one for each month of 2023. Okay, so um, for you, I've chosen the Witch's, Witch's Tarot. Witch's Tarot. Um, I looked at the cards and had decided, waited for my intuition to sort of give me a punch in the gut, let me know which cards we were going to use for which sign, and um, this one is what came up for you. Let's see. What's on the way for you? Right. Okay. All right. So, um, in the recent past, we've got the Seven of Swords. So, we feel like something may have been taken from us. Uh, unfairly this is one of the four narcissist cards so uh, this is the person who has addictions so I uh, it could be symbolic of you it could be symbolic of people that you know or even um, just a set of traits even that have caused you issues patterns that maybe you come come in confront uh, are confronted by again and again um, but this person has addictions uh, drug addiction or alcohol addiction or food addiction or sex addiction some sort of addiction um, this is a, this is if it's this interpretation right so it can just be some sort of theft or energetic theft um, that you want justice for um, this or the, or it's a difficult person who you want to um, get justice from you know but anyway it's a it's a complicated card uh, uh, if, if you see he's taken five of the swords and left two of them so um, this position of this card is uh, the the past and how the Im the past still impacts us now so this has already happened so you don't have to worry that something like this is on its way it's not this has already happened um, but now as we head into your year we see that you, you kind of adopt the energy of the king of wands who's the king of businesses and also the arts funder uh, influence is working in your favour is this position so you have a lot more power and control and you kind of want to employ that for business and artistic means influence is working against you which is something that could be a lesson for you in this entire um, year is to do with boundaries this is the emperor now the emperor is only an emperor because he has an empire which he's managed to protect and he's done that through creating boundaries physical boundaries energetic boundaries um and he's done that as a person and it relates to his assets as well. All right. So this is influences working against you. This is a learning lesson for you this year. Short term future. We've got the hermit. So you find the light from within. You find guidance from within. You and you you undertake spiritual processes like a meditation, uh, retreats and just pulling yourself back from social environments so you can really concentrate on who you are and let that take the lead. So that's the beginning part of the um, 2023, so January to June. And then July towards the end of the year, we've got the card of Five of Cups, which is there's no point in crying over spilt milk, right? So something's going right, something's going wrong. Um, but as I say, it's a year of big shifts for you so, and you can't have it all your way. Sometimes in order for things to shift, some big things that are slightly out of your control have to happen. But another lesson for you this year, one of the points that the cards are making is that you want to hold on to your resources, Just keep your money safe, keep your resources safe, keep your own energy to yourself, withhold your affections a little bit and just stay a bit more solitary. Um, not, not a time to be super active in the social realm for you, um, which is interesting because I think it's your year. 
but that's what the cards say. Let's move on to health and uh, let's see what the cards say in that area of your life. So a similar card that's come up before uh, is the Hermit card. It's coming the overall outcome position, overall outco outcome. What am I I'm speaking? Some foreign language today. Overall outcome position is the Hermit card for your health. Um, so it might be in your benefit to stay away from lots of people and and have a somewhat more solitary uh, experience for part of the time this year. Look, the Wheel of Fortune has turned in your favour at the beginning, so the, the, the impact the past still has on you, this things, the improvements have already started. Um, short, uh, influences, um, no, influences in your favour is this card, uh, the Nine of Pentacles, which means the, the single woman who's able to live on her own terms, a single person, um, with, with more than enough resources and money to, to, to keep her living a really uh, fun life. So I suppose in terms of relating it to the wealth, it means that all of the things are there. When you don't allow your your pure pure energy to be impacted by dirty energy of other people, um, which it could be to do with that Seven of Swords energy that sometimes makes itself available to come and leech off of your energy. So you've got to be protective of your energy this year. Influences working against you. You're, there's some things you're trying to get off the ground and you're in the early stages of it and that may push you into social environments that might not be he healthy for you, might not be wise for you to be around those types of people. But, you know, um, a lot of rabbits work in creative environments and a lot of creative environments are full of these, these difficult people. So um, it could be that. Uh, so just, you know, just be conscious of the fact that if you are in those types of environments, be aware who you're giving your energy to and who you don't want to give your energy to. Right, short-term future for you, we've got the Strength card. Now, in terms of health, this is a fantastic card because the Strength card is about literally healing, um, you know, healing yourself, getting in touch with your inner wild wisdom, um, being able to tame your demons. Look, here in, in, in this card, the, it's illustrated with, by a lion. So um, getting in control of yourself is how you control external demons, right? What's that saying? Um, to have power is to have self-control to know how to control yourself is to sh is to know the way how to have external power I, I butchered that quote but it's something like that all right coming back to the spread a slightly longer term future we've got the justice card so what you put in is what you get out this is the card of karma and so it's very very uh positive for this spread and the overall outcome card being this as long as you don't put yourself in toxic environments and you um do the processes that keep you sane and um and healthy like meditation you're eating eating well uh, you remove yourself from toxic people, you'll be fine, okay? Nothing to worry about in terms of health. Let's move on to wealth. It's quite late today. Okay. okay. So in terms of wealth, um, there may have been some difficulties last year. I mean, last year wasn't a great year for anybody because the economy was a bit messed up. Um, so, and I know a lot of people lost money uh, in things like cryptocurrency and in the stock market. So that could have been new, but there's a, there was some sort of tough time, difficulty, falling out with someone, and um, a sudden illumination which opened your eyes to how things really work. Okay, short term, um, uh, influence is working in your favour. We've got the Justice card. So, um, if you were treated or mistreated last year, if you were mistreated last year, 
there's a, a chance karma is going to settle the balance for you in this year. So that's positive. What's working against you is there's some bad blood there. There's a heavy heart. There's some situation where you may have felt mistreated, hurt, in pain, but you had no chance to stop. You just got to carry on. So, um, so even though justice is on your side, it, it could be that you're not happy with the outcome um, and that you, you feel like you deserve more. But karma's at play at the moment. So, you know, interesting to see what happens and then take it from there. Short term future now in terms of finances for you. This is literally a slight increase in your finances. So that's the early part of the year. And the latter part of the year, we've got the family card. So, but the family family who is celebrating it in a, in a lavish way. Uh, so this would suggest that there are some improvements financially towards the end of the year that you're able to use for the benefit of the family. There's an interesting thing here in terms of your finances now because the overall outcome card is the death card, which is to do with transformation and l allowing things that no longer serve you to fall away so that your energy is clear and pure and... Um, uh, vibrating in a higher place that allows you to attract all the things that you actually want to experience. So that's interesting. It could be that you change a job or it could be that you have a different mindset when it comes to your um, the way that you invest your money. Uh, I don't know, but some, some sort of big change in the way that you do things is on the way in terms of your finances. All right, let's move on to romance now. When I do the romance readings, if you're already partnered up, because um, oftentimes I do the reading for people that haven't are yet to meet somebody, but if you're already partnered up, it, t look at the spread as the deepening of your relationship. Okay, depending on what I, what cards come up, so um, have a have a look, and I'll try and if I remember, I will try to um, interpret for people who are already partnered up. Okay, right, let's have a look. Wow, that hermit card. That hermit card keeps coming up. Um, it is interesting. We've in all three spreads here. We've had a very similar story being told. Um, in terms of romance, look, you, a lot of people would have um, wrapped things up last year in the Tiger Year so that they're ready for a new relationship. So this is like a, in, this card can often mean a brand new relationship, the early stages of of a new emotional beginning, the birth of a child. Um, it can often mean just new emotional beginnings, right? So that's the, the page of cups. Um, short term, not short term future, sorry. Influences working in your favour. We've got the card of speed and synchronicity, meaning that there are a whole batch of coincidences on the way that are going to um, show, show you the way, direct you towards meeting somebody new. Um, it, what's working against you, though, is you're kind of in this hermit mode as we mentioned before so you might not want to be in social environments but if you don't go to the social environments you're not going to meet the the potential partner and even if you do meet somebody you're not inclined to want to be around too many people so it's going to be interesting how this how this pans out um short term future we give you we see you giving in your community to to people uh, this is a kind of charity and giving back. So this is you giving back to the community um, and and uh, giving of your energy, your time, and also your resources. Whether you, if you if you choose if you so choose to, it's possible that in that in that sort of environment is where you meet this person. So you know, put, don't don't hide yourself away completely because there is somebody out there for you. Slightly longer term future, we've got the card of uh, neglect and financial difficulty. So. Um, Interestingly enough, in the, in the last spread, in terms of what, what that was about wealth, at this point we had you um, had you with, hanging out with your family and enjoying the time and the space with them. And here we have difficulty in terms of um, neglect, neglecting yourself. Because this spread is about romance, it's more personal and less about the money. So this card has two interpretations, financial difficulty and neglect. So I, I would... I would wager that this is a sign that you need to give more to yourself and you also need to take care of yourself and not speak to yourself in critical ways and hypercritical ways. Sometimes the rabbits I know have a tendency to do that. So you that's it could be something you want to watch. I would suggest having a look at Pete Walker's book, Complex Post-Traumatic Stress Disorder, because a lot of rabbits that I know that overthink things 
may possibly have complex post-traumatic stress disorder without even realising it. So um, I know I didn't think I had it, but when I looked at the book, I was like, oh, this is interesting. Um, so I would I would recommend that to people who want a relationship but struggle to be themselves when they do meet somebody or they have a people-pleasing syndrome, you know. Um, I recommend that book because it really does help you to open your eyes to see why... Um, why you might be behaving in, in self-destructive ways. So I recommend that book. Anyway, the overall outcome card here for this for this uh, romantic spread is the card of retreat, respite, and the need for meditation. So um, if you are looking for someone, um, th there are positives and negatives here. It suggests that synchronicity is helping you out. Um, and you could meet somebody quickly because the speed of synchronicity card is there. But um, is it long lasting if you meet somebody this year? I'm not entirely sure. If you uh, if you have the same ideals when it comes to community and giving back, and you you uh, you find the way to be open and vulnerable and visible, then I think something positive could can happen. Something long term could occur. But I think if you if you struggle with being um, you, your true self uh, and 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 have that people pleasing thing that comes to the fore. It could be a form of self-neglect, you know, or self-sabotage. And I think that's something that needs looking at, which is why I recommended that book by Pete Walker. And just look at Pete Walker's work just generally. His first book, The, um, the Tao of Feeling, was also very helpful. All right, let's move on to the 12-month uh, spread now. So we can see what's going to happen for you month by month in 2023. Okay, so in January we have you working, this is the Eight of Pentacles. We have you um, developing your craft, studying, improving, basically being somewhat of an apprentice because uh, you have to learn what it is that you learn how you're going to do what you need to do in order to find success in the area that you want. So you're learning, you're studying, you've got the, that mind of improvement on at the moment. Um, that's this month. So in February, we've got the neglect card again, and the head is in your clouds card. So we've got the page, the page, sorry, the Knight of Cups, and we've got the Five of Pentacles together for February. So it could be that you're uh, not looking after yourself, um, and in terms of in terms of uh, these two cards together, when the Knight comes, it, he he is not grounded, he's not rooted, he doesn't really have a realistic approach. He's just idealistic, but not not doesn't know how to make the idealism how to tra translate that into some sort of tangible reality it's just all airy fairy dream world um idealism <coughs> so when it comes with this it just suggests procrastination to me because you're not looking after yourself and you're just thinking oh it'll be all right so it might suggest that in February you need to have a realistic approach and, and uh, apply discipline so you actually get stuff done regardless whether you want to or not, whether you feel like it or not. Make yourself. March things improve because we've got the, the family card here, the happy family. Um, this is a really positive card, really high energy, high vibration, uh, connection with, with other people, feeling really loved and really seen. April is also very, very good. This is In this pack, this is the Karma card, but it's actually the uh, Judgment card in the Rider Waite pack. So it also means um, a form of rebirth. The Phoenix rises from the ashes and a new creature is, is given birth to. Um, so you may find yourself taking a new direction in April, possibly in a work context. That card often comes up when you're drawn to a new job that's really suitable for you. Um, but it can be in just a new direction in many, many respects. May, we've got the Knight of Wands. So if you have been procrastinating and taking time, <coughs> taking time, wasting time, um, the Knight of Wands says, right, we need to take action now. It's time to get stuff done. So let's move. 
So in in uh, uh, May you may may find that now's the time for you to just say, okay, we need to do it now. So that's that's the that's May for you. June we've got the Star card. It's a beautiful card. I am open. I am vulnerable. I am uh, naked. What you see is what you get. Um, I carry with me wisdom. I can because uh, I'm connected to the divinity, to divine, to the divine. I can make a wish, and the wish comes true. Uh, and I'm changing. I'm shifting. You might not see me shifting, but I see me shifting, and I will shift in time. Even before you, before you know it, I will be a completely different person. So that's much happening on the internal internal landscape in June. Won't show until later, but you're changing a lot. July, we've got the Nine of Pentacles. The single woman who's got loads of money, who can live on her own terms. She's into falconry here. Um, yeah, there is a falcon there. It's a typical um, right away image. The woman with the falcon. Um, it's not in her hand though, it's just there. I don't know if you can see it, but it is there. So yeah, um, I have my unique interests and I'm going to engage in them regardless how they may, how, how much they may cost and how unusual they may be. They are me. And I will do it to my own pleasure. August, we've got the Justice card. So if there are any any uh, legal matters, they will go in your favour. Um, the card of karma. Well, I suppose there's two. There's that one as well, just above it. So um, the, uh, the card of karma, what you put in is what you get out. Um, but uh, behave with integrity and you'll get a good outcome. If you try to cheat your way around things, it could come back upon you. Let's move to September. So the Queen of Pentacles, she looks after herself first and, and then everybody else. She wants to be strong and uh, she takes care of herself and her assets and her land and everything that she has. She's protective. She is the goddess of creation and she's also the Earth Mother, but she, the goddess of creation and also the goddess of destruction. So you don't want to get on the wrong side of her. So if this is you, it could be you in your positive mode or your negative mode. Uh, it, goddess of creation, goddess of destruction. So people need to um, stay on your good side in in uh, September, October. We've got the Queen of Wands. Now this is the sociable queen. It's possible that this is the month where you do get yourself out and spend a lot of time uh, being with people because it might be necessary for you to spend that time with people uh, for your work or for other reasons. But October will find you busier than usual. Uh, but you'll enjoy it and it will be productive as well. November, we have the Four of Pentacles. So again, you may find at this time you want to pull your energy back. Maybe you got a bit exhausted from all that socialising in the month before. In November, you just want to pull your energy back and, and keep your resources to yourself, your energetic resources and your financial resources and everything else just to yourself. Um, and that's no bad thing. Now, in December, we've got the Hanged Man. So this is this is positive and negative um, connotations as all cards do. But what the hanged man says is there are some circumstances that you can control and some circumstances you can't. At this time, there's not much that you can control. So you have to accept your circumstances. And in, in doing so, what you do is you release, uh, you release tension and you surrender your will to the universe, to the divine. And then when you do that, you enter the, the, the divine flow. And then the divine flow can then can then lead you down a certain uh, uh, road where more synchronicity is going to occur for you, but uh, it takes a while for you to get to that point because you, rabbits in particular have such an overthinking thing. They overthink. They worry um, that that gets in the way of it. So if you can sort of slow down that thinking process, then you can tap into this universal flow. And if you don't, then sometimes circumstances need to get a bit complicated, a bit difficult, um, so that you uh so that some some decisions are taken away from you so you have to accept the circumstances and when you do that a sort of um a surrender takes place and then you have access to that divine flow again so that's really positive okay i just want to share with you um that if you this is a general reading for all rabbits uh and the vietnamese say the cat sign if you want a personal reading with me, you can email me at zachariahadil at gmail.com or you can WhatsApp me on this number right here and uh, and book a session with me. Just uh, just text me. There's information on my website in the in the zachariahadil.com forward slash readings. If you go there, 
and you you'll be able to to see uh more information about how to get reading with me but just text me text whatsapp me and then um we can arrange something all right also i just want to share with you my first book secrets of the Kabbalah astrology you can get it from amazon uh when it was special release it was 3.999 in pounds i i think you can get it a bit cheaper now on on amazon or you can get, so that has a full uh, the all the 144 charts in there it's like a dictionary of all this of all the signs or you can get your individual chart mine is sheep aquarius uh, you can get your individual chart. All of these are available on uh, Amazon for six pounds ninety nine or eight dollars seventy four. Uh, either way, I hope you uh, have liked this reading. And if you want more information about your personal chart, get your chart. Thank you very much. I will see you next time. Uh, please like and subscribe for more of this type of content. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.